Today I'm gonna to be doing a review on a particular brand that I've never covered in the past. Now this brand happens to be a special brand for me. One, because it's very unique and has a lot of tradition behind it. And that brand is Brigade. We're back at the original studio, square one, where I used to do my old videos. I figured we'd do it a little bit more throwback with less of the glitz and glamour, just because I wanted to focus more on the brand. Now, Breguet is a very, you know, it's a different brand. It's not for everybody, but it has a lot of tradition in watchmaking behind it. And we can say that these watches look different than all the others, and they bring a certain level of pedigree that's a bit different than perhaps Patek and Vacheron. I mean, all three are good brands, but Breguet has their own little twist to things. They have a lot of ingenuity, and like I said, a lot of tradition. Now, the particular model that I have here for you is one of my personal favorites, and it's the Marine Chronograph. So the first thing that for me is striking about these watches is just the way that they look. They're very sporty, but they have a very European flair, in my opinion. It's just not something that you see all the time. One of the main things that the sports model has that always grabs my attention is this coin edge that the cases have all the way around, which gives it that textured look. I don't know what it is about these watches, but when you're wearing one or when you see somebody wearing one, it just looks completely different than everything else. Yes, I like Rolex. Yes, I like Patek. Yes, I like AP. But the Breguet just gives it a whole different texture to a collection that you don't get from other watches. Now, I'm lucky enough to have been able to borrow from a friend of mine that's also a sick collector and probably the most OCD person I've ever met with watches. He actually has each one of these, you know, he's actually got the Marine Chrono in each of the different finishes, which is pretty cool. For example, he's got this yellow one with the blue strap, which is very unique, I've never seen it. The white with the black, and then of course the rose with the brown. Now, one thing that I wanna mention is that, for me, one of the most iconic things about this model is that they usually bring a very specific rubber strap. Personally, I like this watch with that rubber strap. It just looks like something totally different that no other watch model has. It stands out. Almost, I mean, I hate to bring this up as an example, but it's almost like, for example, how the APs had that specific rubber strap with the two lines in it, or how when Hublot came out with that very specific tire tread strap, I feel the same thing with this Breguet. It has a very good looking strap that hugs the case all the way at the end pieces. He likes it more in the leather because he's more of a classier, you know, dress up gentleman type of guy. So I get it. He's got his other watches with metal bands for more of the sporty look. But that's one of my favorite things about these watches. Before I even go to the case and the movement, I want to also point out that Breguet has one of the most impressive clasps in the game. I mean, it just looks right off the bat like it weighs 50 grams in gold. You know, and how about these things right here? It's just so perfectly executed that for me, it's just very tasteful, very classy. But the clasp of a Breguet is something that's always grabbed my attention because it just looks so well made. They didn't skimp out at all with the gold. Now, as far as the dial layout goes, very traditional with the Roman numerals. And I like the different colors that they use to make it pop. You know, if I had to choose one between all three of these, originally my favorite one was the rose. But I guess if I had to choose one, it would straight up be the yellow gold. There's just something about the contrast and the colors that for me really does it. If they were actually able to make a dark blue rubber strap for this watch, I don't know, it'd just be like a game changer for it. And you know, the buttons and stuff on this watch are very, goes with the whole layout of the watch. Crown, very traditional. Almost all the Breguet sports models have the same crown, which is iconic. Push buttons have a little bit of a twist. Look great. This is not a really in-depth review. You know how I am. I don't get so crazy into the whole thing about it. One of my favorite things, as stupid as it might be, 
about these watches is the way that the automatic rotor is in the back. Killer look. Since it has the whole marine theme, the way that the rotor in the back is cut, it looks like a seashell. Has a very aquatic marine life, you know, look. And I don't know, something about it for me just that makes it so unique. Almost looks like a Nautilus, you know, what actually a Nautilus is. But the rotor in the back is one of my favorite things about this model that really looks different. All the movements for Breguet have incredible finish. So if you ever had the time to sit there and stare at one, there's plenty to look at. They're good looking, well finished, well made watches. So let's talk about prices. The retail of these watches are $31.5. And if you're gonna pick one up pre-owned, you can probably be on the high teens, even, even the very low 20s, which is a good watch. You get a lot of bang for your buck. And again, for me, it's just a, more of a conversation piece and it's just a really classy looking watch. I'm telling you, like the difference between this Prezi I have on and this is like worlds apart. It's just completely different. I say it over and again, my choice always is the rubber strap with this watch. I feel like that's what makes it unique more than anything. Now in the watch game, it's definitely a unique piece. It's something you're gonna walk in and make a statement and no one's gonna really have it, chances are, on the wrist. So for that, it scores some extra points because it shows you have a bit of taste and selection. You're gonna look ultra, ultra classy with this watch on. I can't stress that more and more because even me as a watch guy, whenever I have actually seen a guy just wearing one, it strikes me the same way. So feel free to comment below how you feel about the Breguet Marine Chrono. And don't forget to hit the notifications bell to it looks like this so you can catch all our new episodes. And if you like this video, please like and share. Also, subscribe to our channel. My name is Eric, watch your style.